हेलो गुड इवनिंग गाइस वेलकम टू बाइजूस एग्जाम प्रेप द मोस्ट कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव प्रिपरेशन ऐप तो आज हम लोग मिल चुके हैं आज बहुत ही शानदार एक नेक्स्ट मेंटी वॉर ऑफ मैकेनिकल ब्रांच एंड टुडे द ग्रेट ओंकार सर एंड मी सूरज बोथ विल बी हैविंग अ टफ वॉर बिटवीन प्रोडक्शन इंजीनियरिंग एंड हीट ट्रांसफर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन आई विल रिक्वेस्ट टू यू भाई की ऑडियो वीडियो इज ऑल गुड ऑल परफेक्ट uh please write in the comment section and please do share this video to all of your friends so that they could also join because more number of students means more competition to onkar sir kya kahenge is bare mein hello champions how are you all and good evening and bahut bahut shubhkamnaye dear students republic day ki uh, 26th of january hai aaj and yes the day is going to end but before that we are having this great 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 war between me and suraj sir so sura sir yes sir okay so i think students are also excited for this menti war because uh, as you know uh, it's a fun a game and you are also revising the entire concept of the subject so agar if you are revising the concept of the subject in a fun fun way to so definitely you will be able to remember the concept very easily theek hai to hamesha wo learning ko fun rakhiye because if you are taking the subjects uh, like stress ज्यादा लेते हैं तो डेफिनेटली स्ट्रेन आएगा स्ट्रेन और आएगा तो डेफिनेटली क्या होगा मेटीरियल फेलियर होगा तो आज देखेंगे कि प्रोडक्शन में कितने मेटीरियल फेल होते हैं और कितना हीट ट्रीटमेंट और हीट ट्रांसफर के कौन कौन से आपके जो मेथड्स हैं अप्लाई होते हैं सो गुड इवनिंग गाइज वेरी गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू प्लीज डू शेयर दिस वीडियो सो दैट ऑल ऑफ द स्टूडेंट ऑल ऑफ यूर फ्रेंड्स शुड भी ज्वाइनिंग एंड मेक दिस मेट यू आर अ ग्रेट सक्सेस सो गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर द कोड इन द कमेंट सेक्शन you need to uh, join by using that code go to menti.com and they'll be asking for a code uh, the code is 239246 onkar sir ek bar aap dikha dijiye uh, tell onkar sir is sharing his screen so please uh, go to www.menti.com uh, there they'll be asking for a code you have to use the code which is shared in the comment section and also now you can see on your screen uh, yes exactly to ek bar aap dekhenge हाँ ये the entire thing in your hands because last two actually this was actually I lost this was against the suraj sir and against the dheeraj sir so today you we, we have to rock basically today we have no any options no any excuses i want definitely today is our subject that is production engineering of course definitely whatever the stress strain that you have actually gained because of lot of studies and just say 10 20 days are left for the examination this is the time to relieve the stresses right and i'm definitely i'm i promise i will start the question with the material science only so please 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 uh join with the uh, enthusiasm and help me to win and yes my win is you you, you are win so suraj sir definitely today we are going to rock exactly sir exactly but if i say from the past history abhi tak menti war i have not yet lost any menti war so let's keep that uh, winning streak continued i want every student to be participative and make my winning streak to be continued right and i hope ki koi bhi jeete like oga sir or me it's definitely a win win situation for you guys because you are revising your concept please attempt all the questions and i request you to please do go to menti.com and use this code 239246 yes oh, guys yes, there are so many students watching live and there are no likes at all please synchronize the synchronize this number increase the like dear students please please like the session share the session ask your friends to join this war right this is a fun time so whatever the hard work that you have in this entire day now the time to get relax of course with the studies only so <laughs> let's all come on like this session Exactly. Please do like and please do join this video. Uh, uh, this menti. dot com. Uh, use this code two three nine double two four six. And already, I think uh, many of the students have joined. Approximately fourteen to fifteen students, but it's not an appropriate number. You are thirty plus students live with us on YouTube. You please do visit this website. Use this code. You can use a nickname, and then we can start off this 
mentee and, and uh, suraj sir now i think that many of the students are aware that how to actually uh, participate exactly sir right and we are the engineers one time study that is more than enough for this mentee or also how to actually uh, participate and perform here i hope you know this right so suraj sir ne to bahut bar bata diya hai so i am not telling that once again please let us start exactly sir ek bar main share kar deta hu screen definitely okay so let's let's start uh, the session and uh, now i'll be sharing my screen and because that will be the interface of the menti wall right uh, we have 19 students live with us on the menti.co website but i want at least 30 students because youtube mein 30 plus hai yahan pe bhi 30 plus one is to one ratio hona chahiye right good evening i will stop sharing this screen sir. exactly exactly so please ha huh. so uh, you are seeing the code on the on your screen uh, already i have repeated that you have to go to menti.com and use the code 2392246 yes. they will be asking you a nickname you have to use that nickname and you can do join so 24 students perfect uh, let's wait for two more minutes then we'll be starting off a very important clash between omkar ke stars and suraj ke six and sir uh, let the students know who are in my team and who are, who are the students are in your team <laughs> exactly so please so ha huh, so let's i am giving omkar sir a call so from a to m one team and m to rest another team so aap ke upar hai sir today i will go with a to a to m m yes okay so omkar sir is going with a to m so rest all the students are playing with my team so already 27 students have joined so kare sir start chalo karte shuru perfect yes. perfect let's let's start the session and i hope so everyone has joined uh, please make sure you are do liking the session sharing this video because it's for you guys only this complete platform is for all the gate aspirants chaliye so first question on your screen aane se pehle i'll be uh, waiting for 10 more seconds so that all of you could join bahut badhiya bahut badhiya very good aa jao menti mein aa jao sab log ab come come to the menti interface come very fast exactly very good so bahut unique se icons they have selected perfect hai chaliye so let's start with the first question on your screen ye raha please look at your mobile phones they will be ha having one question it is proposed to coat a 1 mm diameter wire with a enamel paint Uh, K is equal to 0.1 watt per meter Kelvin to increase the heat transfer with air. If the heat transfer coefficient is 100 watt per meter square Kelvin, what is the optimum thickness of enamel paint? You have to calculate the optimum thickness of enamel paint. That means they are talking about the critical radius and that too of a wire, right? So I hope so everyone knows about this formula and ESC may be they have also asked this type of question. So I would request you please do. Uh, see on the mobile screen they will be a clear cut options and question on your screen so mark your answer is it 0.25 mm 0.5 mm 1 mm or 2 mm last 10 second guys quickly last 10 seconds come on come on loga rohan krishna neeraj perfect <coughs> let's see okay very good number <coughs> perfect eh? <coughs> very good obviously they, you have to use uh, under root oh, sorry it, it is K by yes anyone K by H right because wire it's basically the cylinder you have to use the formula of K by H that is a critical radius but they are talking about the thickness so you have to see what are the outer radius outer radius is 0.5 mm right one mm diameter is 0.5 mm you have to add 0.5 mm additional uh, enamel paint to have a critical value so this was a very easy question so let's proceed. Uh, let's see who has given me correctly and accurately with quick answers. So, sir, let's see your team. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Ayush. Ayush, very good. Ayush is in my team today. No problem. Tinku is with my team, sir. So, uh, just behind. Lala, Lala also with me. <laughs> Because five point difference. Hai. So, I think that's not a big difference. And also, Baki students will be more different. Come on, guys. A to N, A to N, no, sir. A to M. A I to N with all in my team. team. Yeah, uh, and N onwards to the last alphabet they will link for my team. So let's yeah, let's proceed. Yeah, Production ke questions from Onkar sir on your screen. देखो, it's not like this. Onkar sir ke team में है तो Onkar sir के questions ही करने हैं. You have to solve all the questions, right? 
make sure there are 12 questions all the 12 questions you need to solve because at the end the final score will be taken now right i will be i will tell you that just you are going to relax and relieve your stress let us have the question okay now, on your screen now on your screen chaliye perfect the best heat treatment process to relieve the total residual stresses in the steel component is and the options are in front of you normalizing tempering annealing and mar tempering very easy and i hope the the question is going with the situation right sir exactly <laughs> the question is very easy because they go stresses you need to relieve the stresses this is the end of the day today is 26th of january right i hope so you have already attended that mock test conducted by unka sir sonu sir mukesh sir and ankit sir it was oh, so long that 230 from 230 to 815 815 i know you guys are tired but to relieve some stresses this is a, a half an hour or 40 minute session for you guys everyone has voted perfect yes perfect 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 annealing annealing is the very basic heat treatment process where we are relieving the residual stresses in a steel component that is no any explanation required i hope this is well known to you guys right a not c is the correct answer that is, is correct answer very good very good let us see mm, yes sir chaliye sir <laughs> see here oh no problem ayush very good ayush fantastic ayush lala yeah. king sukh very oh, good no sir see 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 what is the name who is <laughs> gori no exactly can i can we know the name please gori no <laughs> because this is one of the sir scientist in our right, testing, exactly testing, testing technology <laughs> very good so we are always uh, using the concept jahan par bhi dekhe if you use him by the nickname because you will be able to revise who has given what was the formula for that so achhi baat hai chaliye at every point of time you are actually correlating your subject concept yes, definitely bahut badhiya that is very, very nice bahut badhiya so let's let's proceed for the next question on your screen make sure you'll be having 50 uh, for the 40 second 50 seconds on your screen right come on so, guys in the last minute or there were around sir 70 80 students were there in the participation exactly then okay. what happened today come on come on yes rishikesh krishan neeraj i hope so everyone has joined please do your uh, mark your answer so on your screen question number 3 from the heat transfer subject the question is the wavelength at which the black body msc power reaches its maximum value at 1000 kelvin they are simply asking the value of wavelength at which uh, the black body msc power reaches its maximum value at 1000 kelvin so very easy question uh you if you remember the laws of radiation there's one direct law that you have to use and many times the question is being repeatedly asked from this particular concept so i think uh many of you will be giving you correct answer i want 100% correct answer guys because this is one of the most repeated question both in uh, eac perspective gate perspective right so give your correct answers on your screen is it 5.1 micrometer 2.9 micro uh, micrometer 15.5 micrometer or 38 micrometer easy question and sir if you look at the time that is quite more more than enough exactly yeah actually But still i think sir, students wo switch karne mein thoda sa time ho jata hai exactly are bhai bahut easy question this was a very easy question from the means displacement law you have to use directly lambda into t is equal to 2898 micrometer kelvin or you can use 2900 micrometer kelvin so just you have to use that formula exactly you will be getting 2.9 micrometer as the wavelength simple question tha from the wiens displacement law logan Chal- is very correct bahut badhiya bahut badhiya very good chaliye so let's let's proceed for the next question uh, after every two question now you will be getting the okay. uh, leader board no, right no. yes chaliye next question from production engineering so quickly do join come back uh, we have good number of students but i want this number to be increasing and everyone should be participating in the main t session exactly chaliye sir question in the ultrasonic machining process the material removal rate will be higher for the materials with ultrasonic machining abrasive jet machining you know that these are the very suitable process for the material applications like the hard and brittle materials yes or no so by the action of the erosion or the tiny or brittle fracture we are getting the the chipping action material is getting removed yes sir no so tell me here these are the options in front of you uh, for which materials it is uh, very much uh, uh, suitable or very much uh, material removal we are going to get here for the 
higher toughness material higher ductility material lower toughness material or the higher fracture strain materials very simple question i already give you the hint tell me it is yes it is option c lower the toughness means what higher the brittleness so jyada brittleness hoga tabhi ja ke material remove rate higher hoga in case of the ultrasonic machining right so dear students higher toughness it is not the true statement or true answer right it should be higher brittleness and where it is where you are having the lower toughness well so c c c lower toughness is the correct only 11 students sir i don't know why it was a direct question i it think it was a very yeah. very straightforward question but for that yes basics are i hope it is very clear ajm and this ultrasonic machining the material applications are the brittle materials exactly. okay no in issue chalo fantastic fantastic yeah. come on so uh, let's go to the scoreboard before going to the scoreboard let me tell you once again those students who have joined right now you have to go to menti.com you have to use that code you can see on your screen 92246 exactly please use this and let's see what's the scoreboard now looking after four questions <laughs> Okay, so we are having a very close call. Yes. See. Okay, चलिए. Today, today, sir, there are see chances I can see here. I can, I can have, I can rely on Vladimir Putin and Tinku. Vladimir <laughs> Putin. No, Ayush is with us. चलिए बहुत बढ़िया. Very good, very good, very good. So, a uh, baki bhi. If you talk about Neeraj King, so please improve your ranking because I want everyone to be performing very well because. i should not be one sided competition every student should be giving should be getting that top position in, in the first session if you remember if there was i'm not wrong sir last last menti war mahesh was the topper no mahesh i exactly. i see where is mahesh is not here actually uh, so you won't believe in the first menti war we had a student karnot ka jinka naam tha karnot uh-huh. he went from last position to i think second position so it was a very good uh, uh, like increment that he had so that same energy i want everyone to be uh, uh, to every student so for that you need to join to menti.com use this code so let's go for the next question guys chaliye he transfer your question question number 5th on your screen chaliye right i hope so everyone has joined back question on your screen chal the question is very easy the question is for flow of viscous fluid parental lumbar get then one over a flat plate If the fluid temperature is same as that of the plate temperature, the thermal boundary layer is thinner than velocity boundary layer, thicker than velocity boundary layer, as the same thickness as that of the uh, velocity, and do not form at all. चलिए, I think इसमें कुछ time थोड़ा कम रह गया. क्यों ऐसा क्यों हुआ सर? I don't know कैसे कुछ ये by default ले लिए इन्होंने गलती से. Okay, uh, the students who have marked option A, देखो, uh, always remember that. if the fluid and the uh, plate is at same temperature you won't be able to form the boundary layer thermal boundary layer you always require what temperature gradient is required so that parental lumbar gate then one is directly given to confuse you right because always we think that say delta by delta t is equal to uh, parental to the power minus 1 by 3 we use that formulation right so but here you don't need to use that because they are saying there is no temperature gradient if there is no temperature gradient the thermal boundary layer won't be formed so option d is the correct answer i think there was uh, less time that's the reason yes. students were not able to have a clarity so uh, i think in this i have given you 50 uh, seconds for this so let's let's uh, with full energy we'll be giving this answer to this question let's start with the production question question number 6 on your screen which of the following are the effects of the draw bead provided in the deep drawing operation so four things are there okay number 1 reduce the punch force second eliminate the wrinkles third reduce the earring and fourth increase the blank holding force options are in front of you there are multiple actually choices are there out of that you have to choose the very correct choice okay as the deep drawing operation you know that there is a very important drawback or the defect called so called as the wrinkles okay and to eliminate that, that wrinkle we are having some of the remedies right so out of that one of the remedies provision of the draw beads yes or no 
so see i have given the given you the hint very nicely so quickly so pass quickly could you give your 4 seconds 50 last seconds. last 2 seconds that done so see dear students so earring basically it is going to reduce your wrinkles that is the basic thing okay to reduce the wrinkle only we are having this earring okay sorry draw beads provision of the draw beads okay and the second one is what to eliminate the wrinkle and wrinkle. to eliminate or to reduce the earring defect okay so these two basically are the uh, use of provision of the draw bits in the deep drawing operation what happened was very i think straight forward what happened chali no problem i hope so you have understood the logic because these sessions are basically to have a quick revision that's it just try to revise the concept through the question because that will be giving you a a uh, long lasting retaining power right chaliye let's let's proceed for the scoreboard what's the scoreboard looking after seven question okay vignesh ka score bahut improve hoga i think perfect thoda sa change nahi hua i think uh, ayush uh, vladimir you didn't got time in, in the, but i think uh, you got the time for production production sir i think 50 seconds were more than sufficient to solve that problem चलिए लेट्स लेट्स प्रोसीड आई वांट एवरीबडी टू प्लीज कम बैक टू मेंटी डॉट कॉम यूज दिस कोड एंड लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट विद हीट ट्रांसफर सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन विल बी देयर ऑन योर स्क्रीन बिफोर दैट मेक श्योर यू आर कमिंग बैक टू मेंटी डॉट कॉम इंटरफेस डू नॉट रिप्लाई इन द योर यूट्यूब चलिए ओके लेट्स लेट्स सी वॉट इज अ क्वेश्चन टेलिंग अस अबाउट फ्रॉम द हीट ट्रांसफर The outer surface of a long cylinder is maintained at a constant temperature. The cylinder does not have any heat source. The temperature in the cylinder will decrease parabolically with radius, decrease linearly with radius, be independent of radius, vary logarithmically with radius. चलिए very easy question. It's a direct question from the first topic, the first unit of heat transfer. There is a cylinder in which there is no source of heat. How the temperature will be varying inside the cylinder? decreases parabolically decreases linearly with radius independent of radius vary logarithmically with radius option a b c or d very easy question i want everyone to be responding dekho heat transfer is one of the easy subjects where you can score easily everyone has voted absolutely correct option d is correct dekho agar if in the question they are writing the cylinder have a heat source in that case you will be marking it will uh, fluctuate or will change parabolically if there is no heat source inside the body and if i are talking about a cylinder then it will be changing logarithmically if the question would have been a, a sphere instead of a cylinder if it's a sphere and there is a no heat source that will be hyperbolic temperature variation i hope so everyone knows about that formulation right theek hai uh, the uh, the resistance of a cylindrical body having no heat sources ln r2 by r1 divided by 2 pi k into l you are using series parallel connection critical radius maybe we are also using to get that relation of k by h theek hai chaliye let's proceed for the next question from production engineering come on guys aaj lagta hai ki students are very tired mock test ko zyada hi karke 6 hours i know i know 6 hours ke mock test ke baad you are having less energy so for that only we have come up with less number of questions so that you are not being uh, stresses nahi aapko stress ko relieve karna hai i remember sir parvinder actually uh, run away by saying that i have to go to the doctor because my eyes are paining chaliye <laughs> chaliye next uh, next question please the best method of widening of plastic deformation zone in a given metal this is a very very basic question from the metal forming fundamentals of the metal forming so you know there are the two techniques either you can go on increasing the ultimate point or you can decrease the yield strength of the material but out of that which is the very good so this is in front of you tell me cold working hot working heating the metal or cooling below the 0 degree centigrade very fast very simple fundamental question from the metal forming right how to widen the plastic deformation zone just bring up bring actually in front of your eyes the stress strain curve 
and you will get the answer. Everyone has voted. Okay. Hmm. Done. Done, sir. <laughs> so, see, always heating the material above the recrystallization temperature decreases your yield strain. And when you decrease the yield strain at that particular time, there is no any decrease in the ultimate strength of the material. So that is the reason why the gap is get widened. If you just go only while increasing the ultimate strength, at the same time yield also goes on increasing. So the gap is remain same only. So please remember that heating the material above the recrystallization temperature decreases your yield strength without having much much decrease in your ultimate strength, and that is the reason why the gap is get widened, the PDZ is get widened. So please remember heating the metal. Please remember heating the metal is the correct answer. I hope so, sir. Uh, Twenty-seven students, those who have marked it wrong, they have got the correct uh, logic behind this question. Because every time, suppose you are not getting the exact same uh, statement, but you can get a question using the same concept. So always remember that. Learn from the mistakes. I think everyone has given so many mock tests. What are the what is the main aspect of giving the mock test is to understand where you are committing the mistake, to rectify the mistake, understand the. Uh, uh incorrect option understand what's the concept behind that and move forward the same thing you rahul have rahul is putting the metal on the stove and he, he is melting that very nice rahul good we have to appreciate rahul <laughs> chali hey, how much energy he is actually saving exactly exactly <laughs> very good rahul okay let's see what's the score for telling us about after uh, this question so i think there will be some changes in the leader board okay I was okay. Ace, but still, still he is in my team. <laughs> exactly, but but uh, Hari Krishna. Interestingly, he was having a lower rank, and he has improved a bit. Very good. Okay, so make sure everyone are giving a tough competition. Should not be a one-sided. And definitely, I'm seeing from the responses every after every two questions, the entire leaderboard is changing its uh, uh, position. So it's a good thing. Everyone is giving tough competition. If you see the top five candidates, the difference is not that high, right? So let's go for the next questions. What will be the leaderboard telling us about? So let's go for the next question from the heat transfer. A very easy question. Nine question on your screen. Uh, quickly come back to the menti.com interface so that you all can join and have a answer to this particular question. Chaliya, the next question on your screen. The number of surface resistance when a non-black body shield is introduced between two parallel black plates. It's a very easy question. You have to tell me how many number of surface resistance will be present when a non-black body shield is introduced between two parallel black plates. Very easy question. Zero, two, four, or six. <clears throat> I think the students will be able to mark it very clearly. It's a very easy question. You have to mark how many surface resistance will be formed. Two parallel black plates in between. I'm having a non-black body. How many surface resistance? Kalyan, please try to give your responses in the menti.com. Right? Everyone has voted. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Dekho. Ab pe, the question that many students might have uh, observed that they'll be saying, sir, two plates. Two surface resistance, a non uh, black body, then we'll be having four. Now, many of the students, the 12 students have marked it four, which is incorrect, guys. They go, if we are using what's the surface resistance of a black body, black body is having MSCVT equal to one, and surface resistance is equal to one minus MSCVT upon MSCVT into A. That means a black body is having a zero surface resistance. So, only the shield surface will be having two sides will be having the surface resistance. So your final answer will be two, right? It's not 12. It's not zero. I think how you are saying zero, zero cannot be possible. If you're using a non-black surface, it will definitely will be having a surface resistance, right? Okay. Uh, no problem. Answer galatha zero jo likha kalyan. So uh, that five students got diverted towards zero. But the correct answer is option B, that is two. I hope so you have understood. You can expect an MSQ question from this also. They can add uh, surface resistance and space resistance along with that. So you can expect an MSQ question from this particular subject. Okay, Chalye, let's let's proceed to the next question from the uh, your production engineering. And I want everyone to please be, uh, because this is the third last question. After that, we'll be going for the last two questions of today's Minty War. Right? I know you all guys are tired. 
pura din ka revision mock test 6 hours of mock test so it's a uh, <laughs> exactly that's a strategy uh, rahul kalyan has has given my by chance he have he might have given the correct answer but in order to divert the students he has deliberately given the wrong option it's, right so okay, kalyan kalyan it's fine <laughs> it's it's basically a good strategy so <laughs> next time if anyone is giving the right answer also the students will be having a doubt on that <laughs> so do not uh, do not rely on the comment section give uh, use your concept uh, use your brains and give your correct answer so next question from production engineer <clears throat> chaliye in a machining operation chip reduction coefficient is 2 and the rake angle of the tool is 0 the value of the shear strain will be chalo batao nikalo jaldi se so reduction coefficient chip reduction coefficient 2 that means r is going to be 1 upon 2 that is 0.5 and rake angle is 0 so tan 5 is equal to r only tan 5 which is equal to 0.5 so 5 is equal to tan inverse of 0.5 which is going to be 26 point something and yes you know that the shear strain is cot 5 plus tan of 5 minus alpha that is cot of 26.56 plus tan of 26.56 and that is going to be how much <laughs> chalo 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 onkar sir has verbally solved this question <laughs> right <laughs> so i hope you know that the dynamic shear strain or the cutting strain you know cot 5 plus tan of 5 minus alpha that is going to be 2.49 and it's 2.5 yes see yes but i think sir bas calculator chalna chahiye yes calculate it was uh, yes calculator must be needed only for... only calculator you should be having a calculator in front of you just use that calculator use direct formulas okay uh, it's always sir how do you do everything in the mind sir <laughs> So it is. It is standard value, sir. Tan of C point five. You know, tan inverse of point five. Twenty six point five six. I hope. Exactly. Actually, That's there good. are some standard values you always need to remember. That ha. Ha. Because that will be giving an extra edge, or it will save some save some time. So, so one upon good. that what quad five that one upon tan of this twenty six point five six is going to be two plus point four nine something. It is two point five. Like that only. Exactly. Priyanka, two point five, two point four nine is correct answer. It is two point five. It's fantastic. बहुत बढ़िया. Very good, very good, all of you. Uh, so Kalyan is mastermind person, I think. <laughs> okay, Priyanka. Uh, just not uh, concentrate on this. Let's concentrate on the questions. Uh, let's try to solve. Let's try to improvise our uh, concept of these two subjects. Okay, Kalyan has got two point five. Very good, very good. चलिए, so let's see what's the score we're telling us about. today i think sir today i definitely going to win <laughs> okay sir <laughs> so first time ever see yes log also with me don't worry chalo <laughs> are i i am relying on vladimir putin and tinku because <laughs> they is to are the only friend that can have uh, a tough competition to the first candidate kalyan tricked again <laughs> okay देखो भाई देखो ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर दैट थिंग इट्स इट्स अ कंपटीशन राइट एवरीवन इज कंपीटिंग यू ऑल आर द कंपटीटर्स अमंग योरसेल्फ सो यू कैन सी व्हाट इज द कंपटीशन लेवल बहुत लोग होंगे इन द जर्नी दे विल बी गिविंग यू सम रॉन्ग सजेशंस सो ऑलवेज यूज योर माइंड यूज योर इनसाइट्स यूज योर कांसेप्ट्स दैट्स द ओनली सॉल्यूशन टू ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स चलिए लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द सेकंड लास्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द हीट ट्रांसफर and uh, i hope so everyone has rejoined back to the menti.com theek hai chaliye aa jaiye jaldi se jaldi se second last question hai i'll i won't be taking more than 5 minutes i think sir yes. at max 5 minutes then you are free to go i know you all are so tired so let's go the heat transfer ka last question then we'll be having production ka last question given that the ratio of msc power of two black bodies at the temperature t1 and t2 is 16 The ratio of the peak wavelength lambda one to lambda two is is a very easy question. They have given the value of ratio of MSC power of black bodies having temperature T one and T two is sixteen. What is the ratio of lambda one to lambda two? It's a very easy question. The two laws of radiation you have to use to answer this very easy and simple question. Some students will be thinking that to use calculators, my dear students, to solve this question, no calculator is required. okay 
so kalyan has given one answer that might be correct might not be correct so use your brains use your concept so that you are getting the correct answer <clears throat> kalyan don't deviate the students <laughs> don't so, yeah. there dekho yaar simple sa tha we know that msc power is directly proportional to the fourth power right so 16 will be equal to t1 by t2 to the power 4 so 16 to the power 1 by 4 is 2 Right, that means t1 by t2 is equal to 2. So if t1 by t2 is equal to 2, lambda 1 by lambda 2 is equal to 1 by 2. That is equal to 2.5. Very easy question. Just you have to apply the concept. That's it. The question was very easy. Okay. First of all, calculate t1 by t2. t1 by t2 will be equal to 16 to the power 1 by 4. And you know that 16 to the power 1 by 4 is 2. And by using Green's displacement law, already we have solved a question from Green's displacement. Lambda into t is always constant. That means lambda and t are inversely proportional to each other. So t1 by t2 is equal to lambda 2 by lambda 1. Or I can say the reverse of that will be lambda 1 by lambda 2. Okay. So the correct answer is 0.5, right? So I think always uh, use your concepts, <clears throat> use your brains, use your Uh, all the hard work that you have done for the past one year. This is the time to showcase your talent, right? And okay. sir, I don't think that this is only for our entertainment. But see, this such kind of question definitely we can expect in the one mark question for the gate, real gate, twenty twenty two. Exactly. They go uh, that level. I have not seen the question paper of NLC, and they have asked a similar question. So I thought let's let's have a question. So definitely because all. देखो यार syllabus तो same होता है if if you are talk about gate exam or any PSU exam. If you are studying means displacement law gate exam के लिए भाई that same law will be there for the other exams also. It's a one-time investment, but investment के साथ साथ practice बहुत जरूरी है. It's not like this भाई एक बार पढ़ लिया then you will be able to recall. After studying you need to revise the concept that is important because mechanical is a very huge subject. We are having thermal, you are having manufacturing, you are having design. There are three important pillars of mechanical and these three are. Uh, Not having that much of relations, just like other subjects, me, what happens? If I talk about electrical, electronics, we are having some correlation with the subjects. But here, we are completely. We are studying Carnot's cycle. The other side, we are studying uh, your uh, metal cutting formulas, empirical formulas. Okay. So always remember, uh, every subject is important. Because uh, gate exam, there is no favorite subject. Okay. Chale, last question from production engineering, and uh, after that, you are free to go. Uh, I want everyone to please come back to menti. dot com, and we'll be having the last question from Oga sir of the production engineer. Come on, come on, come on, come on, quickly. Come on, last question, last. Sir, today, one hundred and ten percent. Come on, sir. Hope so that Oga sir uh, wins, and I'll be uh, not able to have that winning streak, which I continued. Was <laughs> that will not be continued. Let's see. Hope the last question will be a turn around. During the gas welding of the steel using oxyacetylene in neutral flame, the acetylene consumed is ten liters. The total oxygen consumption is total oxygen consumption. They are asking for eight, ten, fourteen, twenty-five liters. Tell me. You know that for complete combustion of the one unit volume of the acetylene, we require around two point five unit volume of the oxygen. That's it. That's it. Masood, Masood. This is not the correct. Path deviate mat ho na. Chalo, it's eight, ten, fourteen, twenty-five. Okay, sir has given an a help to guys. Ten is not the correct answer. So eight, fourteen, or twenty-five. Me say you have to mark the correct answer. Total oxygen consumption. See total oxygen consumption. Total oxygen consumption. They are asking. Out of this two point five, ten is actually one is unit taken from the atmosphere and one point five taken from the oxygen. Sorry, uh, one is taken from the oxygen cylinder, one point five taken from the atmosphere. Total require how much? Twenty five only, na? Why are you actually doing this unnecessary calculation? Very simple. I told you for one unit volume you have to burn acetylene. You required two point five units volume of oxygen. That's it. Twenty five liters. Very simple, only four. Very good. Shall we? So let's see who is very the winner. Good, sir, questions are looking simple, but they are having quite good depth. <laughs> so, Only question that I have seen from exactly the end production. 
the questions are very uh, uh, basic it's not very, very difficult okay it's all conceptual problems the the numerical space because first session all all students have said it's a numerical layer so we are with the numericals and these are very easy question but conceptual question logic agar sahi hoga you will be able to mark it correctly logic galat hoga if you are relying on any other students aur bhai wahi copy paste wala attitude hai then you will be having this uh, the result is in front of you right so always please try to study your concepts abhi bhi hai there is some more time left out revise your concept you might have understood that where you are lacking behind which concept is the lacking behind chaliye let's see who is the winner uh, sir ek doubt hai vinayaka se neutral frame is 1 is to 1 right sir yes neutral frame is oxygen is 1 and acetylene is 1 here total oxygen consumption from complete along from this cylinder and the atmosphere total required is how much okay so i hope you all got so let's see what is the scoreboard telling us about the final score the final finale who has won i think sir aap ki team hai and we are having mr ace at the top and <laughs> okay so we have ultimately sir jeet gaya first time first time win thank you so much thank you so much snb 8 8 is a ball eight ball wo <laughs> pool wala ball hoga sir <laughs> okay so perfect hai so we are having a new winner it's a unique thing uh, every menti or we are having a new winner it's not like the winner is being repeated that's the best part it's not one sided or har ek session mein i am seeing a new set of students performing very well Okay. I think NB means Nitin Bagri. Okay, Nitin. Uh, Nitin. Thank you so much, Nitin. So I think Nitin is from my team, right, sir? No, is here either name is A, starting with the. A. Yeah, Nitin. Yeah, you could have used uh, your own uh, original name, so you could have been my team. Okay, <laughs> no, no worries. ठीक है चलो कोई बात नहीं है Nitin. Uh, everyone has uh, able to perform very well, right? So let's let's uh, congratulate Nitin for this particular uh, winning and I think and Ayush also Ayush Dogar Vignesh they are all uh, Ayush Vignesh every student those who have participated and they have seen their ranking okay they go it's not about ki rank one rank two the best part is you are able to revise the concept in a fun way. ठीक है मेरे को थोड़ी भी thinking sir बहुत ही basic है concept ठीक है sir questions नहीं है but you remember one thing any time you are getting questions if you are able to solve it correctly it's basically a revision going on hai na so it's basically it's a team effort you all have participated you have participated so well and uh, i think everyone has given a very good response right fantastic so there is one more menti were left out sir ek bar wo ek bar schedule ek bar dikha dijiye sir so there is one more last menti were uh, unkar sir will be sharing his screen and he'll be showing you the schedule I think it is visible. Ha, huh, exactly. Twenty eighth of January, uh, thermal versus machine. I think Sonu sir versus Dheera sir. The last menti war of this particular mechanical menti sessions. So I hope you have already enjoyed. Three have done. So the last uh, thermal and machine design has been left out. Okay. So congratulations to all of you. Uh, <clears throat> Sir, so can we have a session on the most expected questions? Uh, I think, sir, we have already planned for that, right, sir? And we have already planned for that, Surya Khan. And uh, and there was a, a mock test today in the Hindi channel. So, Omkar sir and and the entire team have uh, given their six hours for you guys unique questions, important questions for the entire revision. I hope so everyone has seen that. If you not yet seen, please do visit or please do uh, watch that. session uh, you can see in the fast forward so that your time will be saved able to solve all the 65 sir so, sare questions i think yes yes questions. sir as like a gate only 65 questions 31 exactly. mark questions and late for two mark questions mathematics apt all all mechanical subjects okay then it uh, priyanka is saying to kalyan don't come to the next one <laughs> and it's it's a fair competition uh you only need to trust yourself your concept your hard work right so i think uh, uh it should be fair more sab ke level pe ho rahi hai chaliye thank you thank you guys for thank you guys thank you so much 
so this is me and omkar sir congratulations to omkar sir and all of you guys to actors yes. participate to this particular session thank you guys and uh, definitely will be having more sessions lined up and this is the next schedule for the main diwar thank you thank you guys uh, on this channel only rashmi will be having the next main diwar in this channel only but the mock test that is being conducted is not on this channel this is that is on the hindi channel byju's exam prep hindi channel jisme mock test aaj hua hai right so you can do uh, watch that you have a quick revision of the entire mechanical k65 questions along with the mechanical and aptitude oh sorry uh, mathematics and aptitude चलिए थैंक यू गाइस बाय बाय टेक केयर स्टे सेफ एंजॉय योर प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ अगर बाहर जाते हैं वी आर मास्क इट इज वेरी मच एसेंशियल क्योंकि एग्जाम से पहले डोंट गेट अफेक्टेड चलिए थैंक यू गाइस गुड नाइट टेक केयर दिस इज मी एंड ओंकार सर साइनिंग ऑफ गुड नाइट टेक केयर एंड स्टे सेफ बाय बाय